The National Brim Classic is just one of hundreds of fishing tournaments that take place across Australia every year. Not only do they attract thousands of anglers, but high profile events have become a publicity and marketing tool for the big names in the industry. But as they become more popular, fishing tournaments are also gaining attention from environmental groups and the public in general, worried about the impact they're having on fish stocks and welfare. So Wreckfish Australia and the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation have teamed up to develop a national accreditation system. That sounds like a mouthful, but basically after all the research is done, an accreditation from one to five is given for that tournament. And that rating will tell you how environmentally, economically and socially sound it is, with five stars being the best you can get. We started out with a trial uh, in about 2005, uh, just a pilot scale trial. Uh, so the concept was completely new, it's never been done before. Ben Diggles is a consultant who's been working on the project for the past three years. He went to 20 tournaments last year alone to rate the different practices. There's a lot of different types of tournaments around the country. Flathead Classic's a catch and release tournament. It's scored very well, but not only because it was catch and release tournaments, because they put a lot of effort into giving back to the local community. Uh, did a lot of research on, on how much money they generated uh, and also say for example the, the catch and retain tournaments, the weigh-in tournaments. We look at uh, ways that maybe they can minimise the impacts on the fish stocks and also uh, ways of humanely dispatching fish and things like that. Here's a rough idea of how it works. Looking after the environment is worth up to two and a half stars. This takes into account a huge range of factors like how many anglers take part, is the tournament being held during spawning or pre-spawning aggregations? Another star is awarded for the social aspect. Does it have a women's or children's category? Are there social functions organised? Economic factors are worth another star. Are local suppliers favoured? Are some of the profits donated to local groups or charities? And finally, half a star for risk management, taking into account public liability and insurance issues. What's the reaction been from the organisers and also the competitors? If we get the sponsors behind it and supporting the tournaments uh, and encouraging people to rate well, that, that's the whole idea. It's to, to basically raise the, the bar for the, the entire industry uh, for the tournament uh, side of it. If you want to find out more info on this new accreditation, head to www.frdc.com.au to learn more about it.